tunnels built by Saddam Hussein now being used by Islamic rebels in their offensive towards Baghdad. Iraqi residents in the northern city of Nineveh protested outside a government building on Tuesday demanding the Kurdish government send troops to root out the Islamic State militants that have taken control of wide patches of northern Iraq. Meanwhile, fighters loyal to the self-declared Islamic State of Iraq and Syria say they will press on toward Baghdad despite attempts by Iraqi special forces to repel them. Insurgents known as the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, or ISIS, have been slowed by Iraqi forces at the town of Samarra, roughly 100 kilometers north of Baghdad. But Iraqi authorities are expressing deep concern that ISIS may try to attack Baghdad from the Euphrates Valley south of the capital. Reuters reports that ISIS militants are using secret desert tunnels to transport fighters, weapons, and supplies from western Iraq to Jerf al shakar a town near the capital, in a bid to evade the Iraqi Air Force. The town of Jerf al shakar came under intense assault by ISIS militants in late July. Reuters reported more than 200 mortars were fired, while suicide bombers detonated explosive-laden Humvees. Many Shiite residents have fled the town, located just 60 kilometers south of Baghdad, as Sunni ISIS insurgents advance. The Iraqi army continues to battle ISIS and says it hopes to retake control of cities such as Mosul and Tikrit. In the north, the Kurdish army is also engaged in combat with ISIS. On Tuesday, Iraqi authorities offered the Kurds Iraqi Air Force support in its fight near the de facto state of Kurdistan.